wake another day to a different sky. Some take the fast lane, but this is my life. <laughs> Swim upstream to a warm place, lay with the trees, feel the sun on my face. Hey everyone. As you could probably tell by the intro, I'm going to be talking today about field jobs and office jobs and what are the pros and cons of having a field job and having an office job. What is field work within the context of being an ecologist? So basically field work is really important to being a scientist because you have to have a very strong understanding of the natural environment in order to actually make decisions about wildlife conservation, water quality, um, environmental initiatives, you really need to have that core fundamental understanding of the natural world and how it works. And often the best way to get that kind of understanding is during field work and during field studies. <laughs> Your first foray into fieldwork is probably going to come in university. So when you're in school, a lot of times you'll have to take a lab class that will get you out into nature and out collecting data, analyzing data uh, in the natural world to help make meaningful decisions or conclusions about ecology. What does fieldwork mean though in a career? So fieldwork can take a lot of different forms in the working world. Fieldwork could be anything like taking water samples down at your local river in order to assess the water quality before and after new development is built, or to observe wildlife in order to make management decisions about the best way to protect those wildlife if you're working in government or the nonprofit world. It could be anywhere from a few hours out in the field um, in your local park to months. So there's a big variety of the type of field work and the amount of time you'll be away and how far away you typically are from home. Really lucky that I have a job that I absolutely love. Generally, if you're working more of a job like an environmental scientist, a wildlife biologist, any of those core technical type jobs, you're gonna be spending a, more time in the field. Um, and then if you are working more of an office job, like a management job or a planner job, you're generally going to be spending a little bit more time in the office. Now let's talk about the pros and the cons of fieldwork. The pros of fieldwork are basically that you get to travel. For those of you who love adventure and travel, this is a really great opportunity to do it. And honestly, I think a lot of people who get into wildlife biology and ecology and environmental science are inspired by these people like Jane Goodall. Day after day, in the sun and the wind and the rain, I climbed into the hills. This was where I was meant to be. Steve Irwin, all these like world travelers that go around the world and save the gorillas. A lot of that is done in the field. So I think a lot of us go into this field because we're really interested in spending time in nature. So I think that's the top pro of doing field work. Some other pros are that you could get a lot of overtime hours, especially when you consider travel. You get hands-on experience, boots on the ground experience, observing wildlife and environmental systems. And another pro is that it looks really, really good on your resume. Almost any job is going to have a huge amount of respect for people who have put in their time. Uh, in the field. Some of the cons of doing field work are that you can often be away from home for a long time and I've talked about that in my other videos, you guys know this, um, but I've been away from home for up to three months at a time doing field work. While this was fine when I was in my early 20s and I didn't have a lot of things tying me down, 
it gets harder as I'm coming into my late 20s and I want to have a family and I want to have a house and I want to be a little bit more settled at home in my routine. That's starting to become a huge con of field work for me. Another con of field work is it's physically demanding. So often you are in extreme environments. You are hiking up to 16 kilometers a day or more. You are being exposed to bugs, to weather, just everything that the environment wants to throw at you. So that could get really tired really quick. This is the last con about field work is sometimes you don't get a lot of say in actual conservation and you don't really get to affect as big of a change when you're in the field because when you're in the field you're gathering data most of the time. Of course there could be exceptions to this rule but generally you're gathering data to put together a conclusion about what is happening out in the environment that you're studying in. Sometimes those conclusions and those learnings get put into practice in conservation and sometimes they don't and it could be really frustrating to see no one listening to you even after you've seen firsthand that poaching is affecting this population of gorillas. All it is is words on a paper for some people and you can sometimes not have a lot of power in these types of positions. So now let's talk about office work. So what is office work in wildlife biology? When you're in the field you are gathering all this data, especially entry level office work is going to be processing the data, drawing trends, doing statistics and running analysis of that data that you've collected. So that can include anything like uploading 100,000 camera trap photos from your camera traps deleting which ones are nothing and then pulling out the which ones are wildlife and cataloging that all in a spreadsheet. That's an example of something you could be doing with a data entry. So at the beginning level of office work, that's definitely what most of these types of tasks are like. Another one would be writing up reports. So you do a ton, a ton of writing as a wildlife biologist and an environmental scientist. So you are writing up conclusions, you are writing up um, introductions for scientific papers, you're maybe going to be writing up an environmental impact statement, a water quality monitoring plan, uh, these large technical documents that take up a lot of time. Those all have to go through reviews with you, your manager, and everyone else. A lot of time spent in the office is writing. As you start to move up the career ladder, office work really changes, I find. So for example, once you are now starting to make more decisions, especially if you are a land manager, meaning you are actually making decisions on the fate of species in a certain parcel of land, or maybe you're making recommendations to governments in an NGO type of position, where you are now having a lot more power in your hands to take the work that's been done in the field draw conclusions and make recommendations and really sign off on those types of documents. That is where the real pros of office work come in. And I'm going to transition to the pros and cons of office work now. So when you are at the higher levels, you have much, much more uh, ability to enact conservation actions. So that's a huge pro of office work at a higher level. Um, you can be a manager, you can be really making those decisive actions on what to study, how you should implement the learnings, and how you can best save wildlife. So a lot of people going into this career think that working hands-on with wildlife is the best way to help save them. I would argue that point and say that generally being at that decision table where the decisions are being made, talking to the right people, getting to know the politicians, that is where real conservation action happens. So that's where I enjoy being is in the politics of the situation because I find it much more satisfying of actually making a difference and doing something rather than being in the jungle being rained on and stung by a million mosquitoes just to collect some wildlife camera trap data. I'm absolutely not diminishing that work because I mean like that's mostly still what I do and that's what I've always done but I just find it a lot more satisfying to um, be able to sit at a meeting table with a government official and really sell my case of why this species needs to be protected, for example. Another pro of office work is the ability to have a routine and a set schedule. This is the best part of office work. I love being able to know when I'm gonna be home, when I'm gonna be at work, and being able to actually have a work-life balance. The downsides of office work, it can be monotonous and boring to be in an office, especially when you take types of people like me and that are used to the constant stimulation of being in the field and like put us into a cubicle and it can be boring. 
another con of office work is you often don't get to do as much of like the technical scientific work as if you were in the field so I probably do a lot less technical work when than what I used to because of course all my knowledge about identifying tracks or identifying birds it's not really that useful when I'm sitting in an office it's more about those deeper ecological concepts like landscape connectivity and how we can best conserve species those big picture things um, are more relevant in an office setting I was thinking about making another video about the pros and cons of like government work nonprofit work and private sector work if you're interested in a video like that leave me a comment below and let me know if you want to see that and thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time